Bert Vinquilio doesn't know where to begin. He's been separated from his family since the Ta'al volcano spewed steam and lava near his community two weeks ago. He's returned to the town of Agoncillo, where he's gone fishing to get enough food to get him through the next few days. But his house has been destroyed, and he can't even get inside to retrieve whatever might be left of his belongings. I was depressed when I saw my house. All of our belongings are still in there. My wife wants to come with me, but I told her it's still dangerous. I feel sorry for my family, for my children. Bert Vicilio's story is a story that is repeated a thousand times over here. Fishermen who no longer have homes they can return to. They tell us the past few weeks have been difficult, but the task of rebuilding is proving to be even more daunting. More than 100,000 people have been displaced and many more affected across Batangas province. They were forcibly moved by the Philippine government and were told to stay in evacuation centers indefinitely because of the threat from the volcano. But this week, the government announced the danger level has been lowered, which means many people are able to return home. I think it was just right that we were evacuated because if you think about it, it was really dangerous for us and they were just thinking of our safety. We are happy to be home now. Fishing has long been a main source of income for many families in towns surrounding the volcano. But most of the fish pens here have been destroyed by falling ash or the constant earth tremors. And people are worried where they'll get their next meal from. So although news the volcano has quieted down has been welcomed here, it doesn't signal that lives are going to get back to normal anytime soon. Jamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Batangas Province, Northern Philippines.